Okay, so in this video today, we're going to show you how to make sliding banners for your Shopify store. Um, and it should work for other uh, store templates and things like that as well. Uh, I'm a big fan of Shopify, um, so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, as you can see here, if we look at Shopify, there's a lot of templates here where, as you can see right here, um, with this uh, models charging accessories, potentially on this website, you could have uh, this charging accessory scroll through four different banners. So you could have one with models charging accessories. Um, you could have another one highlighting a sale, you know, such and such charger is only $99 today. Um, if you want to notify your customers about everything, anything such as, uh, you know, any items purchased for the next two days won't ship until Thursday, we're out of stock. Um, again, you could have a scrolling banner to say that. Um, and instead of, you know, having to hire a graphic designer to make all these banners for you, um, you can do it yourself as well. I mean, obviously you want quality. This is the front of your website. If you don't have design skills, get a graphic designer. Um, but if you just need to throw something up there to notify customers or something like that, it's fairly easy to do. Um, let me show you a couple other uh, themes that have similar kind of scrolling banners as uh, this one. Okay, so this Lakers store, as you where you can see the... Um, is it going to pop up? No, I think it's not going to show us. In this Lakers store, you can see where they got the jerseys, $40. Um, you know, you could have Bulls jerseys scrolling. You could have other teams' jerseys scrolling. You could have notifications about a sale. But where do you get these banners to plug them in? Well, like I said, you could hire a graphic designer to make them for you, or you could use a site like this, uh, Banner Maker. Uh, this is a pretty cool site. Um, not a ton of options for customizing, but you can make some pretty cool stuff with this. Um, as you can see here, you can make 728 by 90s. Uh, you can make skyscrapers, so 160 by 600s, uh, 500 by 500, 728 by 360s. Pretty much any size you want to make, you can make. Uh, the website here, as you can see, is banner.photor.com. And this is pretty easy to use, so we'll show you here. Um, for Shopify banners, you can go as large as 900. Um, personally, I kind of like it 800 because that way everything's above the fold. So we're going to click an 800 here. We're going to do 800 by 400. We're going to click Start Now. So now we're taken to this page. Um, as you can see here, we're looking at just a plain background. If you want, you can blow it up. Uh, we're just going to leave it the original size. Um, for the background, something I like to do, I don't really like how it's a gradient. So we're going to click Solid. We want to change it from black to white for this banner. So we have the uh, pure white background here. So we're going to go back to Content. Um, Let's say we want to notify our customers that a particular item is sold out. Um, we're going to go to sorry sold out. We're going to put that here. If you want, you can change the opacity and everything else, but we're just looking to throw something together simple here. So sorry sold out. Um, what can we say? We could say um, we're going to include some text in here. So we're going to say Dear customers, we regret to inform you, inform you, inform you, we are currently sold out of the A22 charging station. Please check with us in a few days or call us. Uh, okay, we, so we ran out of space there. Um, please check back with us in a few days. So we can have this message here. If we just click there, everything goes away. We can do another text box. Um, if you would like to place an order on back order, which will ship in three days, please call us at you know five 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 five. Okay, so, you know, this is a pretty crappy version, but you can see you can do some pretty cool stuff in here. You can drag whatever images of you of your own that you want in here. Um, you can add text. You can change the background. Uh, they do have kind of a limited number of uh, clip art. Um, I mean, you can always bring in your own images and stuff, so you don't really need their clip art. But, you know, if you wanted to put the name and address of your company or something here... Um, you know, you could do that. Like I said, this, this looks kind of crappy. We just threw this together to show you. Uh, but we're going to save it, apply the changes, and 
then you can just click save and save it to your desktop. If you want to uh, tweet this message, flicker it, put it on Facebook, you can do that as well. But yeah, all, all we would have to do here is click save. We got the saved image and we would then go to our Shopify store and I'm not going to show you how to go into the back end of Shopify. You probably already know how to do that. But where this Laker image is, or in the case of this charging station, if uh, Tesla gear wanted to inform their customers that they were sold out of a product, again, they could just go to my banner maker. Sorry, we're sold out. Dear customers, we regret to inform you we are currently sold out of the A22 charging stations. Please check with us in a few days. If you would like to place an order on back order, which will ship in three days, please call us at 555-555-5555. So uh, this is how you make it. Just show you how to make it. Then you would just go into the back end of your Shopify store, um, go to themes, edit theme. Uh, when you go to templates, go to the home page, and you should see, um, you know, browse in, in four different places in a row. You should be able to click one of those and uh, not only upload your image, but if you want to have that image direct them to a, a particular page on the website of the sold out product or something, um, you can just put in the link to that page and it'll take them there. So this is a, a quick, easy, and free way to make your own banners for your Shopify or other e-commerce stores. And I mean, you could also use this to make, uh, you know, Facebook headers, Twitter headers, uh, you know, blogger, blogspot headers, anything you want. So I uh, hope this video was uh, helpful to you. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe for more how-to videos. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, check back for more.